Hello. Uh, today was uh, Monday, October 24th, and it was the first day of month number five. Oh boy, exciting stuff. Um, yeah, this past weekend was crazy. I was really tired, but now I'm good. Um, it's actually, now it's technically Tuesday, uh, the 25th. It's about four o'clock in the morning. I just got back from lab, actually. Um, I gotta say, the first day of microphones and theory was was pretty good. Um, I mean, we, we talked about a lot of neat stuff. It was it was just a good day, you know. It was it was good weather. Um, I got an awesome sleep the other or last night. Um, so yeah, it was it was a good day. Uh, in lecture, we obviously discussed the introduction stuff, you know, about the attendance and what what to expect in the class and how the grades are going to be made up. Um, and that was the first half, and we went on break. And um, I used break. He gave us about 45 minutes uh, for break today to go and get the actual book that we're supposed to get, and I'll show you that here in a second. But I actually went down to the Target and got, like, a bunch of bananas and had that for lunch. And, um, and went and finished lecture, and we talked about, uh, we discussed, oh, let's see here. We discussed uh, microphone care and handling. So we talked about the microphone stand. Uh, you have boom the tele with the telescopic adjust and the boom angle adjust. You also have the body and the clutch um, adjust and the legs, obviously. Uh, you should always, whenever you have the boom arm out, you should always have it over a leg, of course. Um, always inspect the mic clip. And always check and inspect the shock mount. Um, and also, whenever you screw in, uh, like, a, a microphone mount or the shock mount uh, to the, the telescopic adjust, you should always do, like, don't screw around the, don't, like, twist around the mic mount, but just finger twist the, the telescopic adjust. Uh, and then uh, tighten everything and make sure nothing moves and it's going to fall. Uh, and then you connect everything, um basically from your you work your way to the microphone and then when you disconnect everything you do it the opposite so you would plug it, your XLR into your mixer first and then into your mic and then you would unplug the mic first and then uh, and then from uh, the mixer uh, and we also talked about how you know you wrap you wanna we also oh yeah we, we talked about uh, gosh so did you know that uh, wrapping cables there's actually techniques involved and at full sale we use the over and under uh, method and uh, it's gonna take some practice to get really proficient at it luckily I have here at the house I have oh where is it got out my bag I brought it just in case but I have my own microphone cable that I can practice with uh, so that's that's pretty cool. I'm gonna be doing that a lot um, actually I could probably do it right now but it's late and we practiced a lot in, in lab tonight so anyway we talked about uh, the different microphones and, and uh, we talked about striking which is basically taking down the whole mic stand and everything storing the mic uh, we talked about how to store the mic stand you know, the cable wrapping uh, how to tie the cable off, even though you really you should have like a Velcro thing to, to wrap around it. Uh, and then discussed uh, caring for microphones and not how to clean them, but like what not to do if you need to get it cleaned, you know what I mean? And we looked at some, some microphones that um, didn't really make it, they weren't taken too well care of, but you know, we... Uh, talked about a lot we looked at the microphone input sheet which is actually pretty important you want you want to keep that and the vocabulary words for today uh, there were 10 12 of them uh, boom body clutch legs mic clip shock mount mic panel sub snake over under over over uh, widescreen and pop filter so you can kind of get an idea of stuff we talked about in lecture today I also found out that I am in lab group number 16, and at least tonight my lab was uh, from 1 o'clock in the morning, and it was scheduled to be till 5 o'clock this morning, but we got done a little early, uh, so it's, it's about 4.15 uh, at this very second, 
Uh, so, yeah, we got out of it early. About an hour early. And what did we do? Well, we discussed uh, many different... We, took, we had to take notes in the lab, and I'll show you what notes we took here. Um, basically, we took the manufacturer of whatever mic, the model number, the... Uh, what is that? The transducer type, the polar pattern, the address, and the phantom, and if well, if it accepts phantom power or not. So you can, I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, yeah, these are the notes I took in lab tonight, and we have to memorize these. I, I guess you would say we have to study them and know the 15 microphones here, because uh, those are the some of the most popular ones that you're going to see in the field, and those are the ones that we're going to mainly use at full sale. And another thing to note, at full sale, uh, when wrapping cables up, we use the over and under technique. I can't remember if I mentioned that, but full sale uses the over under technique. Um, so yeah, the first half of lab, we pretty much covered the 15 microphones uh, and talked about those. And we also talked about what, what to expect in lab and the grades and everything and, um, and all that. Now, the lab rooms are really cool, and lab is also really cool in itself because there's six of us to one instructor. I mean, that's awesome. Uh, I mean, that's nothing like what we've had so far. So I'm, I'm very pleased with that. Uh, so, so lab was just, it was a lot of fun because we're actually hands-on doing stuff. Um, so yeah, we took a break in, in lab and I came back home and grabbed a snack because I worked out before I, came, I went to lab or came to lab or whatever. Um, I worked out for like an hour and a half. Um, still watching on Dragon Ball Z. It got me pumped. So at least I'm doing something with it now. <laughs> I mean, at least I'm exercising while I'm watching DBZ. It works out pretty well. Because I actually do get internet down there in the exercise room, so that's cool. Um, point is, uh, after I came back and got a snack, because I was kind of hungry, went back over there uh, to Building 1, and we went ahead and set up all the mic stands. Which five of us came back. We started with six people, but one person didn't come back for some reason. I guess they were... They were tired or something, um, or needed, or gonna have an early morning or something like that. But um, yeah, so we went ahead and, and oh, and as we were taking notes about these microphones, we actually grabbed the mic kits, the mic kits, and we had to look at them and pass the mics around as we were t discussing it. So every mic that I have on this list, we had in the room with us. Uh, which was a lot of money, obviously. And then whenever we set up, so first we, when we came back for the second half of lab, that's when we actually got to practice and check out the, the cable wrapping techniques. And then we also checked out uh, just setting up the mic stand in itself. Um, and then we, what did we do? So then we went ahead and did our cable, which you should never wrap a cable around the stand like a barbershop pole or whatever, because it'll pretty much be like an antenna. Um, so, you know, you just, you wrap it around the, you wrap one loop of the XLR cable around the, the boom angle adjust, and then you run it down, and then you have your nice coil underneath the stand, and then you run your cable around the edge of the room instead of in the middle. You don't want it to get messy. So you, you, uh, they had us and it's a tiny room. It was cramped in there. Uh, and it was freezing, too, so I wore my jacket. But anyway, so we had to run the cable along and then plug it into the, the snake box uh, that was in the wall. And that went over to the room that we started in. And it had a huge, like, 32, maybe. I can't remember how big it was. Uh, it might have been a 32. It was an SSL 9000-something. It was solid state logic, uh, 9,000 something. It was a big board. I'll get some footage of it next time I go in. Um, and of course, it's, 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 it's like one of the smaller studios. But it was very humbling to be in this room that's like a little smaller than my living room here. And it's just got this massive amount of equipment. It was very humbling indeed, I might say. But anyway, so we ran the XLR cables, and then he was like, go pick out whatever microphone you want, and then set it up. So I, of course, picked out the, the um, how should I say, uh, the good old faithful Shure SM58, which I have here at the house, actually. So I picked that one out of the mic kit box, 
and set it up. It was really easy. And it had a short microphone stand for some reason. I was like, this one's for a short person. <laughs> and then one of the guys was like, I guess you could have a midget come in the studio. I was like, yeah, there are people too. <laughs> so um, yeah, it was kind of funny. But it was, it was short for some reason. And I set up the, the SM58. And it all worked out really well. And I inspected the mic clip. And I, make sure it, I made sure it wasn't cracked or anything. Um... And then basically we striked it all down. So what, what, what we did, we had all the mics set up, had it all plugged in, cabled in. We went back over to the first room, and then we had to cross-patch everything from the, in the patch bay. And then we uh, went ahead and gave phantom power to all the condenser mics. And made sure that uh, we were hearing the room. And so we learned a little bit about the, the, the recording board itself, but tomorrow is going to get touched on way more, I'm sure, for the recording consoles class. And then after that, we pretty much, um, well, we labeled the, the mixing board, and we so we learned how to label, which you just take tape, and then you, yeah. that's what the input, the microphone input sheets are important for, because you want to remember what channel, you know, is for what mic, so that's important. Um, and then after that, we went and striked the other room, which basically striking is basically taking down the microphone stands. Uh, so whenever he said, uh, was, uh, he's like, well, since we're done here, let's go strike the, the room over there. And it, I was like, that's so cool. You know, I'm actually using this lingo now. And Full Sail, I would say, today, my, my journey at Full Sail got real. It got uh, very interesting with the scheduling. My schedule this month is whack as crack. I'm telling you, it is just my lab times are all over the place. Let me tell you, it's 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 kind of crazy, but it's exciting. That's what this place is known for. Uh, you know, I'm ready for it. Obviously, I started it today. It's it's 4:20 in the morning now. Luckily, my lecture tomorrow is at 115 again, so I get plenty of, I get like seven hours of sleep. So it'll be fine. I'm gonna wake up at noon and have some bananas or something. Because I went and got more bananas at the, at the store. Um, after I got done with lecture earlier. But no, let me show you the book uh, that they gave us real quick. So hold up, let's go back over here. Yeah, so check this out. Uh, so this is the first class that I've actually gotten a, a, a textbook, I guess you could say. It's not an ebook. We got uh, microphone pro professional microphone techniques, um, and this comes with a little CD in the back uh, with different examples of micro of different microphone sounds. Or something. I need to check it out. I haven't checked it out yet. Uh, but I picked this up after lecture, and then I went to the store. And this was, of course, I picked it up at the distribution center. And I guess this, this book's going to be a pretty good, interesting read. Um, my lab, in, or not lab instructor, gosh, I'm tired. Uh, my um, lecture instructor said that basically by the end of the week we'll have covered everything in this book. Uh, except for microphone placement on instruments. So, uh, that gives you a little bit of an idea of how fast-paced the school is. I mean, this is, how many pages is this book? Uh, let's see here. Oh, gosh. About 120 pages in, in two days. It's, it's pretty impressive, if you ask me. So, yeah, it was a book that we picked up. Uh, and the homework is going to have to do with the CD examples. Um, but I'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. For now, I'm looking forward to recording consoles tomorrow. This month is going to be fabulous. I mean, I'm just, I'm going to love it this month. It's going to be hard because this is the stuff that I don't know. Um, but it's the fun stuff, you know. This is the stuff that everyone came here for, the getting hands on. and Because I walked into that room... At, at lab tonight, and I was just grinning. I was straight cheesy grinning, um, because it was it was exciting. You know, it's the first time I've actually been in a room like that here. So, I don't know. It was pretty cool. At any rate, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video and like brush my teeth and crash. Um, I'm tired. Gosh, it has been a long day, hasn't it? At any rate, <clears throat> I will see you tomorrow with uh, recording consoles. First day of that. 
Oh, excuse me. Uh, so hope you're having a good day, night, morning, or evening, and I will catch you tomorrow.